Good morning. Here I am today, fresh out of a shower, wash my hair, and I'm going to show you my morning wake up makeup. Now, I may occasionally have to glance away into my magnifying mirror, which I couldn't do without, um, so that I can just make sure I'm doing it right. Anyway, let's get started. So I've done my cleansing, moisturizing, and I've even put on a primer. Uh, the one I use is The Ordinary. I'll put all the details of the products on the website, so uh, don't worry if you don't catch them now. So the next thing is, is foundation. Now we all need a bit of foundation, don't we? Uh, and I've just recently discovered this NARS stick, which I love because um, you can just put it where you actually feel that you need it. Now we all know that you shouldn't put foundation absolutely everywhere because it sort of builds up in, in dare I say it, your wrinkles. Um, I particularly love this one because look, it's got a touch up stick. So if you put this, pop this in your handbag, during the day you can add a little bit, say around your nose or under your eyes and then just touch up uh, with this. Um, easy so very portable the next thing is to blend it in now that is really important now for the morning makeup I don't use that touch-up stick I use my hourglass um, brush uh, and blend 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 that's what they say don't they uh, and that's exactly what I am doing you shouldn't be able to really see your foundation as such shouldn't be a sort of mask but just cover up you know where you've got that little bit of sun damage when you were young well, we all sunbathed didn't know about uh, sun damage and SPFs etc so I got a few freckles there we are and that's all so that's all done the eyebrows are very important and I use this uh, lash star now. It's one end is a brush, tidy them up, and then just you do a little bit, not too much, but just fill in those gaps and just it will just give your eyes a better frame. So I think that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Then the eye makeup. Now, this um, is my uh, trick that I learned from a makeup artist. I'm using the Clinique set of four purpley shades. Um, I usually actually put brown on under my eyes, but I thought today um, I'd use the purple, which I use more sort of in the evening. Anyway, the trick I have is to use a cotton bud to apply it. I not one of those brushes with that uh, to create a line. I find that this is much more accurate. Now, I was taught it by a makeup artist because she said um, it's far more hygienic. These ones from Muji, I absolutely love because they're very teeny and they're hard. And you just take a teeny bit of the uh, eye makeup just to create a little round, little uh, line under your eye and the good thing is you then got the other end to either just tidy up, make sure there's none drop down your cheek, and also just to smudge it a bit so it's not a hard line and it's more just a soft line. Do you see? Right, then next I get my uh, lovely uh, brush from uh, Studio 10, double-ended. Um, and I put the, the much lighter shade just in the corner. Now, normally on a daily basis, I probably would, could miss this bit out, but if you can, you have got the time. It does just give your eyes that little bit of lift. Um, if I was using brown underneath, I'd probably use a cappuccino color. Um, look fabulous forever, do a, fab a great cappuccino color. Uh, there you are. So now you're starting to see the eyes awakening. I cheated a little and I curl my eyelashes before we began, um, but I would now curl my eyelashes normally. 
um, and then I use again another product from Lash Star and it's their mascara. Um, it's a, a great mascara but I also love it because you'll see it's got the normal uh, thick end and also a very fine end which is to do those teeny little lashes uh, when you don't want to actually get clumps on them. So first up I'll do the big you know that thing where you wiggle wiggle from the roots there you are uh, and then you do the, the little one but just I do I do a little bit on the bottom some makeup artists say don't uh, but I do like a little bit otherwise I think because I've got quite thick strong eyelashes it makes it very sort of top heavy also do lots in the corner that's the really important bit to give your eye a little bit definition just done a bit of a smudge so you can use one of those uh, uh, cotton buds again there you are so you can see the difference can't you between one eye and the other eye without me without mascara Next is to add some colour to those cheekbones and define them. Now, I use a Laura Mercier Rosebud uh, a blusher. It's a cream one. I like cream because I, uh, I think when you've got dry skin or older skin like mine, uh, it doesn't, uh, it seems to stay and I feel as if it's a bit more moisturising and we all need moisture. So, I would often use my fingers here just to get it right on the you see where when you smile the uh, apples um, but you can just use a brush but I'm just being naughty and using my fingers and then again another double-ended lovely um, um, brush from Studio 10 whoops um, I always seem to use their brushes I do love them and just blend 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 now, I may put on a little bit too much from a normal day look, but I'm just trying to emphasise what you do it right, what it would look like, just to give you a little colour. And it does settle down after a while. When if you've been bashing your cheek with a brush, it sort of brings the blood to it as well. So, um, And you do it right up. Do you see that here? Up round the top of your eyebrows like that, there's a sort of... A figure of three do you see you do that so it's meant to be I think you'll see that looks a lot better if I was really wanting to spend um, extra time I had a bit of extra time I might put this hourglass um, highlighter on I might carry it in my bag put it on if I was going out in the evening just to add um, a little bit more sort of definition and it just lifts your face a bit just gives it that sort of dewy look which we sort of lose as we get older sadly there you are next I'm going to put on some lipstick now normally during the day I might just put on some lip gloss or a, a, a pale neutral or nude shade but to show you the difference that a colour can make, I'm going to use my Fab House of Colour um, lipstick. Now, Grace, Ellie and I all had our colours done by uh, House of Colour and I was really surprised when she picked this shade. They do a fabulous range of um, makeup and Helen Venables picked this shade for me and I thought, oh no, that's sort of a bit like my grandmother would wear. But every time I wear it people will say to me oh you're looking so glam and if you're having a photo taken or anything like that this is um, a good colour now you see you should put it on with a lip brush but um, I'm trying to save t a bit of time, so I'm just doing it with the lipsticks, not to bore you. But can you see how that quickly uh, lifts my colour? 
And finally, I would use a concealer. Now, I, I do it last because um, I think if you put it on right at the beginning when you've got no makeup on, you sort of overdo it uh, and uh, because you've got nothing to distract you from maybe uh, the bags or the um, blueness under your eyes. So I do it at the end. I use this Cover FX one, uh, which is fabulous with the double-ended um, Studio 10 brush again. Uh, but you can, um, there are lots of different ones on the market and I literally, I just put it here and here and I blend, blend, blend. It's literally just those sort of corner bits. Now, having done concealer, literally in those two little bits there to get rid of the, the purple, what I might do is carry in my handbag this Look Fabulous Forever light stick. Um, it's like a concealer, but it just, I might, if I was wanting it to touch up during the day or I was going out in the evening, just put a little bit, uh, I was taught by the makeup artist Look Fabulous Forever to just put it just at the corners, do you see? That, for some reason, as we get older, we get sort of, I don't know what it is, dark shadow, overhang from, <laughs> as your um, eyelids will collapse, I don't know, put a little bit, you could put a little bit underneath as well if you wanted, uh, but remember, don't overdo this because um, if you do, it will look sort of crepey and not, not nice at all. OK, now I'm going to go and dry my hair, come back and show you the finished look. So, there you are. That's the finished product, so to speak. Um, I apologise if I wasn't uh, so good at the filming, but normally um, I have Grace, my partner in crime, filming me, but she's moving house, so I've had to make this film all on my own. So it may not be quite up to uh, scratch. But anyway, I hope you get the idea. And if you have a look on our website, you'll see all the products that I've used. And uh, maybe you'll share some of your tips for uh, makeup for slightly older women. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.